Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Okay, let's see. I'm finally home from work. I fed the cat. Uh, let's jump straight into Minecraft and uh, see where, where did I leave off. Uh, let's grab the Astral Tome. And check. Astral Tome. What was I? Yeah, I was reading everything so that I didn't have to waste time in the videos uh, checking out how to do some of these things. So I prepared just a little bit. Uh, first thing is I have built a little bit of a platform so far. So this platform, uh, I just extended a little bit. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to cut it up into pieces and when I'm editing, like what other altars I'm going to be putting up. This side, I'm going to try to make Batania. Like I have a, a loose idea. The bottom, I accented a little bit with sooty marble. And I'm probably going to put purple anti-block under those to make it look like it's anti-gravity. It's holding it up by, you know, magic <laughs> so we're dedicating a little bit uh, to magic now at least until I can open up the gate gate for endgame that's super important for me plus uh, I've been avoiding magic because it's a little confusing and I don't like uh, I don't want to record content of me really heavily learning and making mistakes so I was avoiding this but I feel confident enough that uh, I can make it through this part now. So I looked at, I read the Astral Tome and I checked out the um, quest book on what we should make. Uh, but the super, super duper important, what I wanted to start the episode with is remember these loot chests, I've been super agitated that when I've opened them, they turn into dungeon loot, and I've been super disappointed with it. I It was spamming my ME system. So I went onto Reddit, and I asked a simple question. If anybody knows how I can change it back to its original loot, and one person I wanted to give them credit and a shout out. Uh, if I'm mispronouncing your username, I'm so sorry, but Zuzi Wale wrote back, and gave me a uh, a command. So I what I did was I hit escape. I opened to LAN, uh, and I enabled cheats. Uh, I'm not sure if enabling cheats is required, but you have to be administrator to run this command. So what Zuzi Wale uh, showed me in the Reddit thread was backslash uh, bqs underscore loot so l o o t space default space load and when i hit enter it reloaded the old loot table so now i'm really happy uh i ch i tried it out and when i open up loot chests now it's the old rewards so book and quill is not that good but it's one item and not you know, 12 to 15 random dungeon loot items that don't stack in the ME system. Plus, there's a chance that I can get some rare, legendary, and epic things, which that I'm really happy about. So, uh, I have a ridiculous amount of loot chests to open, but I'm going to stagger them between episodes. That way, I don't do an entire episode of just opening loot boxes. I don't know if a 30-minute episode of opening loot boxes would be interesting. So I'll open up just the astral ones and the ones that I'm making from now on. And uh, then I guess like the beginnings of each episode, I'll open up like five so that it's not uh, overbearing. And uh, I'm noticing Twitch chat. Coot, you're in it again. Thank you so much. I'm happy that you're here to watch. So let's see. Loot chest. Podzol. Impregnated casing. I can use that. See, even if it's not, even if it's not 
that great of a loot, some of these loot I can make use of. Random animal, I can make use of that in endgame, I believe. So I'm pretty sure wireless crafting terminal, yeah, I'm too far away. Uh, let me put another bookmark. I really eventually want to get this infinity booster card because then I can use the uh, ME system from the space station uh, and then I can link them all up to one tablet instead of having two. So let's see. ME quantum link chamber requires vibrant quartz. I can make this. Infused ender pearl. I can make this. Fluix pearls. I can make. Quantum entangle border. I can make. Mana pearls. I can make if I use Trin's mana pool, but we'll be making a mana pool in Batania very soon. Okay, so I can make the ME Quantum Link Chamber. The Singularities, Matter Condenser, 64k ME Storage I can make. So let's see, Matter Condenser. The Matter Condenser is Quantum Compression of an Elite Compressing Factory and a Piston and 10,000 items. Quantum Compression. Quantum Compressor is an advanced crafting table with pistons I can make, compressors, auto compressors, elite compressing factory, block of black iron, auto compressor, I can make this. So I can make this so far. Singularity, Anglocyte, wow. 1024k ME storage component. I'm pretty sure I can make that unless it requires something crazy. It's 264 logic, 64. Yeah, so I can make it. It's just going to be very item intensive. Uh, and then the last item is anglicite. Oh, there we go. Can't make it yet. So I need to do combination crafting. I have one pedestal now for charged zirconium. I need. What is this? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 pedestals. And of, I have this, I have this, I have that, I have that, this, this, all the crystals it looks. Sentient Ender. Uh, Soul Vial Witch. Ender Resonator. I can make that. Octatic Capacitor. Enticing Crystal. Villagers can be spawned by the following means. What is this? Solvile Villager. Emerald. I can make this. Weather Crystal. Vibrant Crystal. Pulsating Crystal. Ender Crystal. I can make this. Precinct Crystal is a vibrant crystal with a shulker. I can make this. So I can make this if I make the 15 pedestals. So this is within reach. So infinity booster is not something that's required to uh, progress, but uh, that would really help me. Like infinity booster cards means I'll be able to reach one ME system from anywhere in any dimension, any distance. So I might be working towards that pretty soon, but let's keep the ball rolling on magic for right now. Uh, so I guess since I can't get rid of these items, I'll stick them into my ender chest for right now and let's get cracking. Uh, so the astral tome, nah, let's do the quest book wants me to make a looking glass. So let's go down here and let's see. I put them, I grabbed all of the items that I need for everything and I made, uh, what's it called, bookmarks. And I just noticed I did not make a bookmark for the looking glass or the telescope. So let's see. So I need sticks, I need gold, I need planks, and I need glass lens. So to make the glass lens, I need mana glass, I need aquamarines, Mirrored glass. Mirrored glass I've been making in Thomcraft already, which is quicksilver and stained glass or any kind of glass pane. So mirrored glass, mana, so it has to be mana glass, and mana glass I have to throw into a mana pool. So I need to make the mana pool first. So let's go petal apothecary, which I need Cobblestone slabs, cobblestone, and a mystical white petal. 
So the mystical white petal, I went and I gathered those as well. Let's see, did I leave them? Oh yeah, I stuck everything that I need in here. So mystical white petals, I've already broken down. That's what it was. And I put them in here. And grab that, grab that. There's the glass, there's the nitor. Sticks, gold, planks. The quicksilver, the aquamarines. Let's put them in here for now. So I need one petal and then I need cobblestone. So let's make, oh man, I hope I can make sla like regular crafts in here. Does it work as a crafting table? It does not work as a crafting table, it seems. So let us let me check one more thing, slab. Yep, so I need a crafting table. Did I bring my crafting table on a stick with me? Or did I toss it in the ME system way back when? Is it in here? Does not look like I have it on me. But I do have planks. One, two, three, four. So I can make another crafting table. And I'll just put that down in the world right here. And then slabs. And let's see. Oh, there, yeah, it keeps its inventory. And then let's see, we need the Petal Apothecary in the Luminous Crafting Table. So we got that, and it's cool, we can make this during the day. Boom! Bam! There we go. So now we have the Petal Apothecary. We got the questinger for that one. The let's see, where do I want to put the petal apothecary for right now? Ah, uh, let's just yeah, make it right here, right in the middle. So one thing I know I'm going to need is I'm going to need water to fill this guy with. So let's see, in Thumbcraft what I did was uh, I grabbed a sink and I used a flat transfer node and that's helped me a lot in Thomcraft. So I'm gonna see if that works with this as well. I know I can make an ever full urn, but I've heard that it is pretty slow on the, uh, on how, how fast it refills. So let me put a, grab a sink and a flat transfer node. And I'll grab two just in case I need to remove one of them and head back to Astral. Boom, and let's see, I need to put the sink. Now, first what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put the flat transfer node down, and I'm gonna do it on this side. I'm gonna cover up the, uh, the space that I have here. So I'm holding down Control and right click, and yeah, it does not wanna to connect to the unit. Let's see if I can do it from underneath. Maybe because it's texturized, it won't connect. Let's see, control and right click. Yeah, so it will not accept the flat transfer node. And let's go backwards and I have, let's see, city marble since I broke this just now. And I'll put you here. And I'm gonna have to replace this stuff to marble arch, marble, marble, there we go. Astral sorcery. All right, so I'm not gonna be able to do that. So let's see if I can use a ender fluid. Let's see if you connect. Yeah, you don't want to connect either. So an Everfull Urn would be a great idea because that'll put it in there without me needing to ditch it uh, or scoop it each each time one at a time. Uh, but for right now I'll still put the sink down because I can use a bucket and I can bucket it out like this. 
There we go. All right, so we got the quest dinger for uh, the gate to Batania, and we get a flower pouch. That's pretty nifty. And now we can access the gates for X Nilo, which uh, man infused ingots are craftable. That's cool, but uh, the void ore miner grabs that for us. Uh, oh, not escape. I have to hit back. Psy. I have no idea anything about Psy. There is no Psy chapter, but Pen Batania and Thermal Expansion give access to the mod. Okay. Uh, so it might be extra doohickeys, kind of like the Extreme Reactors was. There's no folder for it. It just gives you access to it. So I'll check out Psy. Maybe there's some cool doohickeys in there for us. Mystical Agriculture. This is what I'm working towards, the Master Infusion Crystal. So let's see, we have Batania, and it's a checkbox. Welcome to Batania, and claim, thank you. So did it give me another Lexica Batania? We got the Petal Apothecary, cool. Let's see, it needs a bucket of water and you'll need to drop a seed in, yep. All right, and did I get a secondary Lexica Batania? I think the other one I threw in here, yeah. So let me... Yeet this one. Bye bye. And I'll use the one I got as a quest reward. Uh, floral fertilizer sounds great too. Let's see. I'll put the slabs back in here and the cobble can go back into my dank null. And let's see, what quests can we do now? So Batania wants us to make a pure daisy. And the pure daisy is pretty simple from what I've seen. You just have to uh, have white petal blocks. That's what's going to keep that one. Uh, see, welcome to Batania. It is a lot of talking. View, no, not view online. Please don't open up the browser. Nope, don't want that. All right, where is the... Okay, no, not share. <laughs> Show notes, previous page, back, in, in video, a, a video as well now, back, okay, there we go, 360th edition, that's probably a made up number, basics and mechanics, generating flora, endo flame, we're going to be using that one, let's see, I guess basics, pure daisy, uh, Blah blah blah. It'll purify uh, rock, uh, stone and wood. So we need to make living wood twigs out of living out of living wood, which we need the the pure daisy with. So pure daisy is made with four mystical white petals, and I'm assuming you throw in a seed as well. So let's grab four. One, two, three, four, and then let's make two of them. And we can grab the seeds. Did I throw the seeds? No, the seeds are still in my dank. There we go, we can throw some seeds. And the good thing about uh, uh, Batania is I don't need to worry about liquidating any of my items like in Thomcraft when I accidentally chucked my pickaxe in. So let's see, Do I can't right click, do I have to throw them? Okay, that's four, yeah, and then right click. Or do I have to throw this as well? Okay, we got a pure daisy. And from what I understand, if I do a bucket, put it in there, and then click with an empty hand, it'll do the last one. Okay, and then I need, can, need to throw another one, and there's two of our pure daisies. And I'm gonna put the pure daisies over here, one here and one here. So what's really neat about this is uh, with the pure daisies and the requirements on the other mods, uh, it's not just stone and any wood. You have to do a specific stone and a specific wood, living wood and uh, living wood from Batania has to be used and arcane stone from thomcraft has to be used so one thing that i've gotten ready is i grabbed a bunch of the arcane stone that i already had in the emmy system 
I'll wrap these real quick. I'll do that one and this one. And I'm doing a different design. I know a lot, many people, they do uh, two, two, what is it, three by threes next to each other. I'm just, I'll get it eventually and I want it to keep the design. I like this design. So the way that we're supposed to be using uh, the making living wood, which I haven't made yet, is we grab the starlight that we need. Let's see, let's grab some uh, aquamarines as well. We can replenish these whenever we, whenever I notice. So there we go, we can replenish those. And I made a little space over here for liquid starlight. So now we have that. And now any wood we throw into the uh, liquid starlight will turn into um, living wood. We just have to give it some time. See, there's a little bit of an effect, a little bit of a cloud, and boom, popped out infused wood. So that's what I mean. If you throw any wood into liquid starlight, it turns into infused wood. And infused wood is what we need to wrap this with. So I'm gonna vein mine this very carefully. Cool. And I'm gonna grab infused wood from Astral Sorcery. And again, the you have to use the arcane stone from Thomcraft and wrap this. And that's how you're going to get Batania's uh, living rock and living wood. That's super duper important. So let's see, quest book. We now have living rock where we can open up the quest book or the loot chest and the pure daisy we can open up the loot chest from. Mana pool will be what we're gonna be doing next. So let's check it out. I put the tab over here for the mana pool. So now we can get rid of the pedestal and we can do the mana pool. So the mana pool is going to require a diluted mana pool. So that's, oh man, okay, so light blue color and uh, five of the living rock and it is crafted and then we need white petal block gray petal block and a rock crystal so there goes the living wood boop 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 one more and now I'm gonna vein mine it there we go and let me set some more wood down and some more stone down. I was about to say, did I just put the, the living wood down? That would have been embarrassing. So there, we got that. And let me grab a rock crystal. And uh, we needed a white petal block. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And we need light gray. Did we even get any gray petal blocks? Light gray. There are mystical flowers that are mystical light gray flowers. So let me see, flower pouch. If I grab this, oh, it won't take the tall ones, unfortunately. If I just toss these mystical yellow, mystical pink, mystical orange, tall, these are tall. Okay, it's not going into my flower pouch. It's supposed to. Uh, when, I don't know why, it's supposed to go instantly, it's supposed to act like the dank knoll and take your flowers immediately. So mystical, tall, tall, let's see, tall, tall, we got petals, tall, tall, and the tall ones I can break down course mystical lime there we go mystical 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 and another tall so let's get you in here that one and mystical black and tall tall okay these we can break down into petals all right, and then let's throw you in here, mystical black. And I believe that's all of them. So we need to find gray in the wild. And let me 
throw the uh, living wood and the living rock in here for right now. Make some room. And let's teleport back to the sorting facility just real quick so that I can grab the uh, Uh, what was it? I've already forgotten. Um, that infused wood is now something new. We can open up these two. Status upgrade and a music disc. Cool. So now I can dump this in here. I don't need this. I don't need this. We can use the floral fertilizer later. Rock crystal. The mana pool, diluted mana pool, I needed light blue, that's what it was. So let's see, can I plus you? Oh, I, light blue. Light blue terracotta. Let's see, die. And it's no longer synchronized. Standard search, J-E-I, synchronized keep. Light blue, die. Light blue dye. I can use bone meal. Did I use the, oh, I grabbed all of the bone meal, didn't I? So bones, that makes regular bones. That makes bone meal. Throw you in there. And then the lapis and the bone meal. And let's grab a couple of them. There we go. So I need one, two, three. And let me bring them with me. 16, that's good. So I'll bring them with me, go back to Astral, and grab the Living Rock, and let's make, oh cool, it's, it is attached to the crafting station, the, the st small storage is attached to the crafting station, so I guess if I throw everything in here, I'll be able to shift click it over here, but I don't have access to my bookmarks. Mana pool, we'll make the diluted one, and then we'll make the, we need a white petal block and a gray petal block. White petal block, and I need to find gray, which I'm not even sure if mystical flowers are in this, is that a cinder pearl? Cinder pearl you can use to make uh, blaze powder. But let's see, mystical flowers inside this one. This biome, not sure. So we got a blue one. Blue. Let's see if we can find gray. And if I can't find it immediately, I will just do that between episodes and make the mana pool at the beginning of the next episode. So let's browse really fast. Rose bushes are really good for red dye. See, there's a cockatrice running around, but I can't tame it. You can only tame cockatrice that you create with rotten eggs that come from chickens. You can't tame the wild ones. You can only kill them, unfortunately. Let's see, um, I hope I'm not flying around too much and looking past, there's some red ones, mystical red, I'll grab those. Let's see gray. So what I'm going to decide on doing right now is I'll go ahead and off camera I'll find the gray ones that I was missing and then uh, continue on with the mana pool in the next episode. So uh, this is D-Day bringing you Astral Sorcery Batania uh, at the same time, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Thank you.